year ago, we were gathered here in much greater numbers, and it has been a wonderful year indeed. Vasta tagasi me olime suure hulgalised kogunenud siia allab mätsile ja meil oli tõesti hulgalised ja meil on olnud väga tegevusrikkas ja tore saja aastane Eesti juubeli tähistamine nii Eestis, siin Kanadas ja globaalselt üle maailmselt. We have had an amazing year celebrating the 100th anniversary of Estonian independence, not just here in Canada and in Estonia, but around the world. There have been numerous events everywhere and it's not the end of the 100th as of yet. See aasta kestab edasi, meil on juuli kuus, suured pidustused Esto 2019, mis algab Helsingis, läheb edasi Tartusse Tallinna ja selle järel on meil 150 aastane Eesti laulupeo tähistamine suure laulupeoga Tallinnas. Head kaasmaalased, Kalli Sõbra, 101 aasta, oleme uhke. Oleme uhked meie rahva saavutustest ja jätkuva ise seisusest. Aga oleme ka uhked meie saavutustest ka siin Kanadas. Our families left Estonia with little more than a suitcase and the clothes they were wearing as they fled the return of Soviet terror and repression in the fall of 1944. Over a few short days, tens of thousands braved the stormy Baltic Sea and took to the war-torn roads of Europe to seek shelter, peace and freedom. Kanadas jõudsidki kümned tuhanud. Ja kiiremas korras me suutsime eestlust üles püstitada siin kõõrsid. Here in Canada and in the Toronto, Estonians found each other and started building. We built churches and a school. We organized choirs and folk dancing groups. Then we built summer camps for our youth when they weren't busy scouting or guiding with the local Estonian troops. During working hours, we contributed to the building of our new homes and contributed fully to the development of this great country, Canada. We were identified largely as DPs or displaced people, and we did face discrimination. Our funny sounding names were sometimes mocked and our advocacy for Estonian independence was often dismissed as hysterical anti-communism. Our voice in Canadian foreign policy debate was often chauvinistically marginalized by the Anglo-Saxon establishment. This deplorable attitude continues today by some former Canadian diplomats who reject Estonian, Baltic, and other Central and Eastern European community concerns as being tainted by our historical experiences. However, it is our experiences that they can learn from, and this is something that we and our fellow Canadians should be proud of. School children in this country, and indeed all Canadians, should know why our community came to Canada and the wonderful things we've achieved in this country. Our experience as Canadians should be included in our school curriculums. I call on each and every one of us to pledge to achieve this in the coming year, to call our MPPs and the Minister of Education and tell them about us and that, that other Canadians can learn from our proud Estonian experience as Canadians. Oleme uhke. Meil on palju tulevikus oodatele kui eetmaines. Esto 2019 tuleb. Globaalse eestlastel on varsti oma valitsuse komissioon. Mis aitab meie kogukonda edasi arendada ja on varsti tulemas ka uhke uus Eesti käskus. Toetame meie noore ja meie koole ja meie laadu. Ilma nendeta meil Eesti tuleviku kaunadas lihtsalt ei ole. Ja meie uhke tuleb hooned ja käskused jäävad tühtaks. Hoiame ühte teist ja oleme edasi tuti. Elagu meie Eesti kogukond Kanadas, oleme uhke ja elagu Eesti vabadik. Aitäh!
tanult, meie konsulaadile ja Toronto Eestis tänsile tänase päeva korraldamiseks. Elabu Eesti Vabariik!